Bunbury was hardest hit by last night's storms with almost 50 homes damaged by extreme winds. Rachel Carey, the State Emergency Service, has been working overtime there to secure homes. Tim, here on Waterwich Street in the Bunbury suburb of Kerry Park, homes have had roof damage. They've had windows explode and trees fall on top of cars. Four homes have been so badly damaged that residents will have to stay with family and friends. A Bunbury suburb ripped apart, fences down, roofs dislodged. Across the road, the SES works to waterproof a home and further on, power lines are down. The storm struck just before 9 o'clock last night, bringing winds up to 100 kilometres an hour. This house on Stirling Street, hardest hit. Yeah, it was pretty intense. We, uh, it's not very livable anymore. Clinton Guppy's kitchen and bedroom are leaking, but this is what's left of his back living room. This is where we would chill out and just enjoy our summers and enjoy the sunshine. Now we have plenty of it. But, uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Always look... Try and, try and remain positive, you know? Down the road, this massive tree torn out by the roots, smashing down on Darren Newell's car, his house also damaged. The window just exploded. I ended up with a gut on one side of me and a, uh, another half of the gutter the other side knocked me. The uh, window just smashed everywhere. It was just incredible. And down the street, another ripped off roof and drenched ceiling. Might be best to move all this, move all this stuff. In the house, Chantelle and Brendan Shand with their dad and grandparents. We were standing at the door and we just saw this massive wind just brush through and like things go flying. The SES was called out to 47 homes in Bunbury. At the storm's peak, 17,000 homes were blacked out. But within hours, the power was back on for most. It is a suspected tornado. Uh, the, the area or the, the narrow corridor suggests that. Um, very localised damage. Yeah, if you look outside the Kerry Park area, very minimal damage. It's usually quite heavy damage confined to a small area. Um, but that can also happen with uh, gusts in thunderstorms as well. But for the smallest survivor, it was just a chance to help Dad clean up and give some advice on his caravan. Death, push it over. So the cleanup crew did. In Bunbury, Rachel Carey, Nine News. So Rachel, how many homes are still without power in Bunbury tonight? Well, Western Power has been working throughout the day to try and restore power to the thousands of homes that lost it. I've now been advised that there's just 200 homes without power across the whole southwest district tonight. The SES has also wrapped up its emergency repairs. It will now be up to homeowners and insurers to take it from here. The damage bill from this storm could be anywhere between $100,000 and $200,000. Tim?